Hello everybody, unfortunate news here today as we are talking about a season ending injury and that is Vancouver Canucks player Ilya Mikheyev. Now I wanted to get right into this. Last night after the Columbus Blue Jackets game, Canucks GM Patrick Alvin said that the first year Vancouver Canuck player Ilya Mikheyev is out for this season. The injury is ACL related and means the Russian forward is likely out until training camp for next season. And Apparently this was an injury, I guess we already kind of knew that it was ongoing and persisting a little bit, but I don't think we knew the true severity of it. Uh, Mikheyev did miss some time earlier in the year. I can't remember, I think he might have played a game or two of preseason, then aggravated the, the ACL, and then missed some time there earlier on in the year. But I guess from reports from a few guys, it seems like he's been playing with a almost torn ACL and still put together a fairly respectable season. 13 goals, 15 assists for 28 points and 46 games played. I think a big thing that we could see Vancouver miss for him is those 5-on-5 five five goals. He is third on the team at full strength goals with 12 and has been playing a lot of times with guys like Andre Kuzmenko, um, Elias Pettersson, Quinn Hughes, a lot of those guys that I really feel are part of the future. Kuzmenko, of course, signed a two-year extension the other day after impressing quite a bit for the team in his first season. But yeah, this is a guy that has got a majority of his points at 5-on-5. Five five. He doesn't necessarily create a lot of scoring chances for the team or himself at full strength, but he did record 89% of his points at 5-on-5. Five five, and that's okay. You look at some of the things, while it wasn't necessarily a lot of chances, he was not bottom of the barrel for some stuff now shots for he was pretty low on there but it's like high danger chances i think he was middle of the pack on the team in general though i think the biggest issue that you're looking at here um is replacing mckayev's minutes now not saying that he was perfect in all the roles he was in but he played quite a considerable time on the pk unit played some time on the power play unit and in general averaged about 17 minutes a night dealing with this injury i don't know i look at this and think Maybe this will impact the team more than people want to think just because you have to find a way to eat up those minutes But I will say for him if he's able to produce like he has this season and improve off of that Regardless of the fact that I do think a little bit he overachieved in some ways Then he could be part of the Canucks future in the sense that he's got this three-year contract And then he might be able to live up to the deal originally I was a little bit worried about it coming off this great year in Toronto Or at least a career year in terms of goals scored uh, but now I'm looking at it saying if he's healthy and able to just improve certain aspects of his game and to try to be a little bit more dangerous at full strength, then we really could see him be a, not franchise pillar, but just a part of the team going forward. Now, for the 28-year-old, all I can say is rest up and get yourself ready for the next season. You know, get ready to have a career year. Get ready to, you know, just be in a good spot for the season. Not only that, but... For Ilya Mikheyev, I would say just get right for yourself. I know that for these injuries, a lot of times we talk about how this is going to impact the team. How is the fan base taking it? In general, though, we got to focus on the players, too. Mikheyev is a guy that has been playing with a pretty severe injury for a long time. I can say for myself that I ended up wrestling in high school through a torn meniscus, and that is not nearly as bad as this, but it still hurt, and my knee is definitely not the same as it used to be, um, but here he is fighting just trying to you know get it done with the team unfortunately he had a few more medical reviews and this was the reality of the situation so he's going to be out for the year but just you know stay in a good mental state and get ready for the off season and all that comes with it anyway please make sure to like this video if you found it informative and subscribe for more hockey information everybody stay safe have a great night and you go love hockey all right goodbye brigadiers and brigadettes this is your captain signing off have a great night